Rain down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be doing a challenge. Also before we begin, I wanted to say just be sure that you do stick around to the end of the video. There is a new outro that's made by Soldat and it looks absolutely incredible. He just wanted to make one for me so I will let him and holy crap it looks awesome. So make sure you stick around and check that out. And then also guys, uh, make sure that you go thank Soldat because he wanted to edit a video for me. He just wanted to, you know, actually see how good he is at editing I guess and wanted to try it out on this video. So uh, he's the one that edited this video, thank you so much to him. So guys, make sure you go to the comment section and let me know how you think Soldat did on this video in terms of editing, and I will make sure that he actually knows how you guys feel about it, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and start the video now. So the challenge that I'm taking on today is I'm going to go ahead and add $20 to my Steam wallet, and we're going to see how far I can get with it. So this is $20 USD, and we're going to do a numerous amount of things uh, in sort of the short term to see if we can turn the $20 into something a lot more, or if we're just going to lose $20 right off the bat. I think this is kind of just a fun little challenge video to do. It probably won't get a ton of views because these type of videos don't really get that many. But we're sort of at a lull in the middle of the major, there's not much to talk about, uh, and I will be doing follow-up videos for the major, but uh, that's going to happen obviously a little bit later. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, thanks for chilling out with me today, and let's get started. So as you can see guys, I did add $20 to my Steam wallet account. I think one of the first things we can attempt is just an op atheris straight up or two, uh, just a regular field tested one because that can turn about $1.70 into about $5, so that can definitely give us a nice little boost there. So we're going to try two of those because they're pretty low risk. So we went ahead and bought 20 of the MP7 Mischiefs and Field Tested Condition for about $3.58, and uh, that's going to be our first starting point for the video. Alright guys, with that being said, let's get to the trade-ups. Alright guys, here we are on the trade-ups, and uh, as you can see, I have 20 of the MP7 Mischiefs. If we get at least one of the Op Atheris, then we will make some profit, so that's pretty good. Um, and we have two chances at it. It's a one in five chance. There's We can easily just get two Tech 9 Bamboozles and just fail both of these, but it'd be nice to get an Atheris. Okay, there's the... Uh, First fail, and I'm assuming we're going to get a second fail as well. So let's go for it. Oh, nice. We got an Atheris. Okay. So we now have an Atheris and a MP5 SD Gauze. So I believe this goes for 20 to 30 cents, something like that. And then this goes for $5 right now, I think. And I'll show the prices on screen after that. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the first trade-ups. Okay, guys, here is the Atheris price. It's $5.26 right now, and then the MP5 SD Gauze is right now. It's about $0.34, cents, so I'm going to go ahead and sell both of these. I'm going to put them up for a decent price so that we don't lose any money on quick selling, and then we'll get into the next trade-ups. So, guys, as you can see, I am listing the Atheris and the Gauze. It's going to result in about a $5 gain after everything is said and done. The Gauze is already sold, and the Atheris is still currently selling. So that's going to put us at about $22 total USD once this is all said and done, and that's kind of nice, a little bit of a $2 profit right off the bat. Alright guys, so I have the next trade up here. A, it is a little bit overpriced. I paid a little bit more than, you know, it regularly should for this trade up, but this can result in a, quite a lot of really good options. It's about a 30% chance to make profit and then a big 60% chance to not make profit. So pretty much a pretty risky one here, but it didn't cost very much and I'm currently at $17.64. Also the Atheris already sold, so that's why I'm up to $17.64 right now. So uh, let's get into that trade up. Alright guys, here we go. This is a very risky trade up. Uh, it's a quite a high chance to get the 69 69% chance to get a, a bad result 30% chance to get a good result so guys let's go and make some money unless we get a p2000 amber fade then it's not any money that's probably what's going to happen here so ready for a p2000 amber fade here we go there it is boys you heard it here first p2000 amber fade field tested so that's a loss of about one dollar and seventy cents so that kind of sucks but uh you know live and learn and move on. So that trade-up sucked, but uh, let's not do that one again, and let's move on to the next one. Alright guys, moving on to a riskier trade-up. This trade-up costs about $10 total, uh, a little bit less, and uh, this one can result in quite a few pretty good options that can make us a decent amount of money. So let's get started. And here we go. Let's make some money, boys. Uh, I don't know what the exact chance of profit is here, but it's not too bad. Um, I also messed up the floats pretty bad, I'm pretty sure. I kind of just went with it, you know. So we can, uh, we could lose a bit of money because these are not the correct float minimal wear, but uh, Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a loss, but it's not a very big... Oh, it's factory new. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a loss, but it's not a very big loss. So, uh, yeah. It's pretty good, I guess. Moving on. 
So guys, as you can see, the Iathena goes for about $7.47. After tax, it's going to end up around the $5 range. So we lost quite a bit there, but you know, whatever. All right, guys, we are now standing around the $8.51 uh, USD range in the wallet. So let's try to turn this into a little bit more cash. Plus, we have the $7.47 Iathena, which I'm kind of debating on selling or not because it will be so much of a loss from the fees. All right, guys, we actually had to sell the Iathena to uh, get enough money for this next trade up because we were just a little bit short. But this is an Emerald Poison Dart trade up. The best possible option is making $12 USD by getting a decimator. And then also there's another 33% chance to make about a couple dollars. And then there's a 33% chance to lose about a dollar. So that's what we're standing at right now. And let's get on to that trade up. So guys, this trade up is actually surprisingly low risk. Um, because either, even if we get the worst option, we don't actually lose that much money. Um, if we get the best option though, the decimator, I believe it is, then we make quite a bit. So that'd be really nice. And let's just go for it. Decimator, please. Yes, we got the decimator. Now, I believe it's going to be minimal wear because, again, I had problems with the float. But if it's factory new, that's even better. And, yeah, minimal wear. Okay, so we made a little bit of money there. Not too bad. So, guys, we're kind of just uh, sitting at the 11 to 28 range. Thanks to me being a retard and messing up the floats a bunch of times. So, so guys, with that being said, we're going to have to do a little bit of a trade secret. And the trade secret is uh, losing even more money by buying sack track after his trade ups. So let's go ahead and do that. So I guess Steam is on to me losing my money. So uh, yeah, they went ahead and crashed the entire market for me. That's kind of nice. Looks like my buy order went through anyway. So let's get on with this uh, loss of money, guys. Yeah, so we've been here before, haven't we? Uh, <laughs> this is uh, going to be pretty nice if we get an Atheris, to be honest, because that's like triple our money uh, per trade up. If we get two Atherises in a row, then hey, that's really awesome. It won't happen, but that's really awesome. Uh, here's my guess. I'm going to guess we're going to get two of the same skin in a row, but it's not going to be an Atheris. My guess is it's going to be a Tech-9 Bamboozle, which is going to be worth very, very little amount of money, and uh, we're not going to make very much on it. So anyway, guys, let's get on with the end of this episode already. I'm already done losing money, so uh, thanks for the uh, not Atheris. Wow, it's almost like my uh, prediction was correct. And uh, guys, I'm about to show you that I'm a complete psychic because I'm about to get another Tech-9 Bamboozle and uh, further ending my misery and this episode of my videos. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and here is another Tech-9 Bamboozle for you. <laughs> well, I mean, at the very least, I guessed it. Uh, that's, uh, that's nice, isn't it? It's nice to just guess your fate. Uh, that could have been two Atheris in a row, by the way, which would have uh, put us actually in profit total. I actually have a Stat Trek Atheris right here as well that I'm holding on to. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's why you don't trust the Atheris dream. And there we go. We are now officially out of $20. So that's, that was kind of the, uh, the lower end of this video. That was the fail version of this video. So, uh, thanks for watching anyway, guys, and only do this, only try this at home if you do have disposable income that you can just use to randomly spend on in-game skins. So, with that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching once again. I will see you all next time, and uh, make sure you stick around to see the outro, and also make sure you tell me what you think of Soldat's editing. I will see you all next time. Peace.